Hey, how you doing? Gonna do a quick review of, uh, well, it's not a review, unboxing of these little bad boys because they've just arrived, okay? So I've been a professional drone pilot for about six years now, but I just have done DJI all the way. And actually, I've never realized actually how easy DJI make your, uh, makes your life uh, in the fact that it's just uh, get things out of the box and off you go. Just fantastic but you do pay um pay for that privilege so for instance a battery for uh, a dji drone is uh, say 120 quid 150 quid uh, but their intelligent batteries last 25 30 minutes uh, whilst um, you can get a battery for one of these little drones for 10 quid but equally these are quite likely to burn your house down potentially so you have to charge them in a lipo bag uh, because of the risk of fire um, and you've got a they they uh, you can overcharge them and stuff like that and they only last sort of four minutes uh, so that's not great but um, the marketplace is changing and people want uh, the FPV style drone footage um, and as well as the traditional drone footage as well so that's why I bought one of these little chaps um, they're about two hundred quid. And they're called Cine Whoops, okay? So it's like, let's get it open. So it's basically a, um, a small uh, drone, uh, sort of stripped bare to the uh, back to the bare bones, uh, not made to look pretty or anything. Uh, but Cine Whoops are designed, uh, as the name implies, so I don't know what the whoop bit is, but the Cine bit is it's designed to carry a camera. Uh, and depending on the size of the drone, depends on the size of the camera. So this is a nice small one, so you can get the shots through sort of the rungs of ladders and under chairs and uh, th through windows and stuff like that nice and easily. Um, you are taking a risk by doing that of collision. So they, they are built with um, built-in prop guards. Um, that slows them down somewhat, makes them less... Um, uh, less agile uh, for doing acrobatics, doing acro mode. Um, so that's why if you want a drone uh, specifically for racing and acro stuff, you tend to get something with that prop guards and you thrash them around, they crash, they hit things, they break, you repair them. So they're designed for easy self-repair. So, right, this is it out of the box. This is my first look, first touch, first look at one of these drones. Uh, it's not very heavy, I can't tell you the weight. Uh, it may be on the box, but I'll, I'll uh, maybe ping that up on this if I can bother to do any fancy editing. So um, there's a little camera at the front. That allows you, that goes, let's show you that. Camera at the front there, that goes to your FPV goggles that you wear. Um, on the top is a strap for putting your battery. This is the type of battery you put on. Uh, I just Googled what the most suitable battery is. So this is a whole new world of batteries uh, when you start getting into these things. Again, with uh, DJI, it's just plug and play. You don't need to know what type of battery it is as long as it's just the right model uh, for your specific drone. But with these, there's all sorts of different, uh, different sizes and how many cells are in it and the ampage and wattage and voltage and blah, blah, blah. And, um, and it all... Uh, means different things so that's it's, it's a learning curve um, for me with that and then you have to buy special chargers and things for it too um, and, and as I say they only last three or four minutes so you uh, you know really you don't want to be f far out at sea but you wouldn't be going far out to see one of these because there's nothing to film out there again and this is for doing primarily indoor shoots uh, in indoor spaces near people that kind of thing uh, for safety um, so this is what would have done that bowling I don't know about this specific model but this sort of size would have done that bowling alley video which took the world by storm a month ago um, so you uh, have the little camera in the front which you have going to your goggles and then so I'm gonna this is a, a brief unboxing of the two items that you need to be sort of to, to rock and roll uh, there are other things in here that um, I will go into later uh, spare props and things and uh, little bits of circuit board and I have no idea what they are but uh, what you also have to do is learn to solder uh, is the other fun thing so you do have to add things to make the units compatible with say your transmitters um, so um, and also when you crash it and you need to repair it okay 
So this isn't carbon fibre, it's just a plastic. Uh, and I've, I've seen the shells for sale. So you can just buy the bare bones of this for 10 quid and uh, transfer any working parts to the new uh, shell. So the other thing I bought is here. Let's get my pen knife. Um, don't know why I'm talking with a northern accent because I'm down in the far southwest of the UK in Cornwall. Beautiful part of the world. Right, so this is an SMO uh, Insta360 camera. It weighs uh, 30 grams. It's tiny in weight. I have here an ancient um, GoPro 3 Plus, okay? And uh, so normally you would have a housing uh, around your camera with this. It stripped it right down. Let's take it out of this uh, container. Um, so they've stripped it right down to the bare bones. So it's a thin sort of coating around the outside. It's like a bulbous bit at the back, which is, uh, I believe, the sensor, camera sensor. Uh, but because it's thicker, it sort of sticks out the back. But they've tried to reduce it in size and weight. Um, this does 4K wide angle. Uh, image stabilization uh, this takes amazing footage for something that well, it's not credit card size but they're trying to get it as small as possible um, it does come with uh, a couple of filters I think it's a, um, a UV filter and I'm not sure what to, I can't remember what the other one is so that's quite cool and it has another back to it and I'm not quite sure why um, this one does not have that's peculiar. It doesn't have a uh, mounting process on the back, but I can't really see why they would give it to you. But that's that's this. Look, this is straight out of the box, and I haven't done, uh, I haven't watched a lot of uh, films on it and uh, YouTube clips. So that's what it is. Just a quick unboxing. So you attach uh, this to your your drone. Um, I don't know. All right, there's a screw on it. Good. So you attach that onto that like that, whiz it around, you've got your camera for your goggles, this recording the footage in 4K. Um, it's a cable that will go from this to the drone to power it from the drone's battery. Uh, does that come? Right, hopefully that, there's a little cable there, that might be what that is. Or I don't know if one has to purchase it, it could be in this box. No, it's in this box here. So you get that as well in there, okay? And a little tool to um, do your tooling with. Um, so um, still waiting for, well, I bought a transmitter to use uh, with this. So it's kind of the language is a lot more to learn. So normally I would with a DJI call the unit that I control the drone with the controller, but they're called transmitters in the FPV world. Um, um, a controller is something else uh, as far as I can tell. So uh, the drone itself has little rubber bumpers going around the outside and it's uh, guarded from above, so it's downward sort of facing um, props there, five armed props. So yeah, looking forward to getting it running and uh, seeing how it burns. Uh, but you should be able to, I should be able to do stunts and things like that, but I am totally new to that and I need to get some uh, practice under my belt uh, in a, um, a simulator. Um, which is the best place to cut your teeth, really, without uh, so you don't damage your drones. I mean, obviously, I've got lots and lots, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of kilometres under my belt flying drones, um, but not this style. This is a whole new world, so I'm going to treat it with respect and take advice from friends of mine who are already in this world. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you for watching.